Hi, this is Nathan Harrison for FindRemodel.com. Angled cabinets like this can create a nice effect in a kitchen, and I recommend you look into it. But, you need to be sure that the joint between an angled cabinet and a straight cabinet is very well constructed. If it's not, it will begin to pull apart over the years. Let me show you how to do it right. Now normally, the way that these modular factory built cabinets are joined together is to clamp the face frames together and then we would pass a screw from this face into the other face frame. So we're screwing the face frames together. We don't want to be screwing back here. That's a no-no. But as you'll see, joining to an angled cabinet is quite a bit trickier. We're going to be looking up underneath this location right here, the bottom of where the two face frames join. Okay, so let's look at our options here. We could start a screw in this face frame, obviously up higher, and send it straight through this way, but that would probably cause this little section to simply crack off. We could try to shoot the screw at an angle so that it would pass from this back corner just missing that, the visible place there, and passing well into this solid wood. But that's pretty problematic because you're very likely to break out of the front so it would be visible say uh, up here where we'd actually be running the screw I'm just demonstrating on the bottom here but the screws obviously would be run up higher and generally we would pass three screws between cabinets to secure them together a third thing you might be tempted to do would simply be to stick the tip of a screw into this little notch right here and let it run this way. This is actually the worst of all because this area will break apart very very easily. This lower piece which is the wall of the cabinet is particle board in this case. The front piece here is solid wood we need the screws to only be biting solid wood if possible. So instead of all those options, what we're going to do is in three places, we're going to pilot a hole starting here and then take our screw across this way, which is much safer than coming from the opposite direction because we're closer to that visible area right here where it's so likely that we could break out and cause a major problem that would have to have a cosmetic repair. So in these next views we're going to be looking right around the back of this face frame here. Step one is using the nice sharp point of a butterfly bit we're going to create a pilot hole back probably half an inch or maybe three quarters from the turn of that face frame. This is on the inside of the cabinet. Now we're going to send a screw in and through, but not all the way through. You'll notice I left a good bit of the head of the screw out of the wood. The reason for that is it's still not biting a huge amount of that solid wood. If you keep pushing it in, it's going to split the wood apart. If you can get three screws in, bottom, top, and middle. To join these two cabinets, you should have a joint that will last a lifetime.